Audio Jungle. Good afternoon. Here is the national news from VGI TV Current. I am Mori Ray Rabila Lawa. First are the major headlines. Buhari set to flag a third oil field in northern Nigeria. INEC fixes April 15 for supplementary polls in Adamawa Kebi. Price of petrol to eat 750 Naira per litre soon, stakeholders warn. Next story, Amor Tekun arrest two underage boys in Oshun. And to sum of sports story, Super Eagles beats hosts Guinea-Bissau to top Group A. Now the news in detail. President Mohamed Buhari is set to flag off the third oil field in northern Nigeria on Wednesday. Information report that this was contained in a public announcement on Monday by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited and the Nigerian Midstream and Downstream Petrol Petroleum Regulatory Authority. The oil field is located in Ebeni at the headquarters of Obi local government area of Nasara State. The flagging off is scheduled for Tuesday, 28 March 2023. It is the second oil field in the north central region. The first was the Ibaji oil field in Koji State. In the history of Nigeria's exploration, the Ebenyi oil field is a third in northern Nigeria. The first was Kolomani, located in Bauchi Gombe Access. The 15 January 1956 was the first time Nigeria discovered crude oil in commercial quantity in Oloibiri, a community in Niger Delta region. Going on to the knots. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has fixed April 15th for the conduct of supplementary governorship elections in Kebi and Adamawa State. INEC had declared the governorship elections of March 18 in both states as inconclusive. In a statement posted on Twitter on Monday, the Commission said supplementary polls for national and state assembly elections will also take place on April 15. Arising from its meeting held today, the Independent National Electoral Commission has decided that all outstanding governorship, national and state assembly supplementary elections will take place on Saturday 15th, April 2023. The statement reads. Going on to the next story. Nigerians have been warned to brace themselves as the federal government prepares to completely deregulate the downstream sector of the oil and gas industry. Stakeholders in the country's downstream oil and gas industry have warned that a litre of petrol would soon be sold for 750 Naira at filling stations. The stakeholders gave this warning during an online workshop titled The Regulation of Nigerian Downstream Sector the day after. Joined by economic policy analysts and government agencies, the downstream players also provided a list of strategies and actions that should be taken to ensure the long-term elimination of gasoline subsidy. It was also revealed that Nigeria was having trouble finding buyers for its crude oil due to strikes in the French refining industry and seasonal maintenance at plants throughout Europe, which reduced the producer's sales. Going on to the next story from Oshun State. A Morteco Corps in Osho State has said it arrested two underage boys who allegedly broke into a shop in Oshogo and stole food items and some money. Retired Brigadier General Bashir Adewimbi, Osho State A Morteco Commander, made this known to newsmen on Tuesday. Adewimbi said the boys who at 18 and 11 years respectively gained access into a shop at Ashubiaro Oshogo in the early hours of Saturday and stole recharge cards, noodles, beverages and some cash. He said the suspects were later arrested in the day at about 6.24 p.m. in an uncomputed building after the incident was reported to Amoteko Oshogo Command by the shop owner. The duo were arrested at their hideout after our operators received intelligence about their location. The suspects were caught with some of the stolen items still in their possession and during interrogation they confessed to perpetrating the act the uh, commander completed. 
To end the national news is a sports story. The Super Eagles on Monday in Bissau beat Oz Guinea Bissau 1 0 to reclaim leadership of the Group A in the 2023 Africa Cup of Nations African qualifiers. Moses Simon's penalty kick after 29 minutes gave the Nigerian senior men's football team the needed win to move to nine points after four matches. They have now off stage the, from the apex position Guinea Bissau will talk with them on Friday in Abuja 1 0. Guinea Bissau are with seven points from four matches and in second place ahead of Siri Lone, who have five points from four matches. That's end the national news this hour before we go some major headlines. Buhari set to flag off third field oil field in northern Nigeria. INEC fixes April 15th for supplementary polls in Adamawa and Kebi. Price of petrol to eat 750 naira per litre soon. Stakeholders won. Finally, Super Eagles beats host Guinea Bissau 1 0 to top Group A. For more updates of our broadcast on YouTube, the handle is BGI TV Current. Can you subscribe and click on the notification bell? Select option all to access our broadcast. For placement of your adverts and goods and services and for coverage, Please dial the phone number streaming on your screen for advert placement only. I am Mori Re Rebila Lawa. Good afternoon. Audio